So I'm sitting here thinking it would be cool to post some data log stuff as far as showing a launch with a clutch controller and without and how much better it is with it. Let's do it. All right, this is a pretty ugly example and one I'll show you in a video here in just a second. So look at this, I'm gonna zoom in. This gigantic flare is rear wheel spin happening right there through a good portion of first gear. You can see the clutch 5,500 RPM gets dumped. It pulls it down to 4,000 RPM, but the tires break loose and then it's just spinning. It's just a pedal fest. Uh, let me show you the, the G reading for this is interesting. So it spikes here when the tire is grabbing and then it breaks loose and the G's just fall away. It's not accelerating. And then we finally get it somewhat under control and it accelerates up into the gear change. But that's, uh, that's not good. Okay, so let me show you a typical launch without the clutch controller working. You're at uh, red lines RPM, you're at 5,500 RPM on the two-step here. Clutch is dumped and drags the motor down to around 2,000 RPM right here. And you'll notice this yellow line is rear wheel speed. This huge flare here, that is wheel spin. So it's knocking the tires off. Purple line is front wheel speed. So you can see it drags it down and then accelerates up to the one, two gear change. So here we've got our run overlaid. The first one we just talked about, the second one, this is with the clutch controller. So we're at 4,500 on the two step. Clutch is dumped and you can see it slips the clutch all the way up into one second, which is right here where full clutch engagement happens. And then it accelerates to the one, two gear change. Look at the difference in time between the one, two gear change when we slip the clutch and when we don't. And that's because the motor has to accelerate all the way from 2000 RPM and up. It just takes a lot longer. And you'll notice here, this yellow line, there is no wheel slip or spin happening. And that acceleration curve is much quicker. Let me show you this as well. So this is G meter, blue line. You'll see here on this particular one, you're gonna see this huge spike in G's and then it drops off. And that's because the tire grabs until it spins and then it falls away. And then it's all over the place here. Where we're slipping the clutch, you have a fairly consistent G load going on here until right at the clutch engagement, and then it peaks a little. So there's a little bit of fine tuning to do there, but the average Gs are much higher for this up into the gear change, which indicates stronger and faster acceleration. I can tell you the difference between these two passes is over half a second. So that's significant. <laughs>